Many reasons have emerged on why CS Moses Kuri was demoted after being moved from a very powerful ministry in the first cabinet reshuffle by President Ruto. Not only his mouth, but actions has betrayed him, and if it was not for DP Gachagua intervention, then CS Moses Kuria was to be sacked. Days ago, DP Gachagua revealed that he had won CS Kuria from statement he made in public and that he had pleaded with President Ruto not to sack him, saying he has no place to go. CS Moses Kuria landed in trouble after he started a fight with Nation Media Group to an extent he likened them with prostitutes, was ordered to apologize but remained to say he can't and he will never. He has never apologized. In another ugly moment with the president, when signing performance contract at State House, CS Kuria was among those who came late and were locked outside the gate. This angered President Ruto so much, where he ordered all those latecomers to apologize and said a written explanation why misbehave. Nobody knows whether he did so. Another ugly moment, CS Moses Kuria in fight with Kiabu UDA elected governor Wamatangi, who is constantly on the ground engaging with locals. It is rumored that Kuria has flooded section of MCAs and MPs to push Governor Wamatagi out of the office through impeachment. In fact, through his ministry, he has refused to launch industrial park in Kiabu, seeing the governor has refused to offer land where the park will be built. This fight has escalated to an extent Kiabu leaders are now fighting before President Ruto. For instance, when President Ruto visited the Gatodo North constituency to launch upgrading of the local roads, local MPs and MCA started fighting governor to an extent that Ruto cut short his visit and flew out of the area and headed to Narok County, where he was not expected. He was supposed to make three stopovers in Gatodo North, but he only made one, and he said that is enough. This shamed him badly and urged the leaders to maintain peace and respect one another. He gave them until December to sort out their mess, so that development can come to this area. DP Gachagua had to intervene for a night meeting with Kiabu leadership to calm the situation. Another notable reason is his sentiments on cost of living and especially the price of fuel, where he told Kenyans that things will be worse and that the fuel will reach 260 shillings per litre in some few months to come. This angered many Kenyans where he was seen to be spoiling for President Ruto. He even warned Kenyans to dig their own well of fuel if they can be able to do that. He has since pulled that out. Now is wait to see whether he will keep quiet after being silenced as the Ministry of Public service performance and delivery management na yeye pia amesema watafanya kiwanda yao ikuwe hapa tuanze ku process samaki kuja kutoka hapa tunauza moja kwa moja kutoka nje mpaka nje nimepokea malalamiko unajua juzi nilikaza kufana nikasimamisha kuleta samaki kutoka China nikasema lazima sisi tukule samaki yetu eh na kuna watu ambao walikuwa na toa samaki China wanaambia ati wengine wanauzia mambo ya airlines ati wameanza cruise biashara sasa nimewaambia tukue na mkutano waendeleze hiyo story lakini hiyo mkutano sitakiwe na roho tufanye hapa kwa bahari tuingie tutoe samaki pamoja tuone kama kweli ni mzuri ama sio eh ama namna gani kama wakisema kwa bahari sio mzuri mimi nita, nitasema sorry na niwaruhusu lakini mimi niko na hakika ya kwamba the best fish is from this eh, home of the county. Pia na mliona juzi tulikuwa na rais wa Indonesia hapa na investors kutoka Indonesia. Na mimi sasa nyadhulwa me and you we must go to Indonesia tulete hao watu tuwafanye kuwafunga macho tutowafungua wakifika home of the hapa tuwakatalia hapa. Eh hey. Na rais akikuja Saturday najua tutaongea hiyo na yeye tumwambia kwamba those investors who want to come here tuanze na hiyo mabi. Na nimempatia chali. Unajua nimeshangaa sana. Ile registration ya wakulima tunafanya. Kenya mzima unaweza kufikiria ati ile county inaongoza kusajili wakulima sijui ni, tra, ni Transoia ama Bugoma ama Wazingishu. Nimekudua ya kwamba with 230,000 farmers. Homabe County is the one which is leading in farmer registration in the Republic of Kenya. And because of that, we owe them. 
the least we can do the, to, for them is to support them. To our support, maneno ya aggregation ya mashamba yao, na governor to mekuperiana, you must hit the target of 100,000 acres for edible oil and 30,000 acres for cotton. I am not taking even one less discount. Iyo razima. Na jameni watu wa homabe ni mwaulize ni wasihi. Please support the governor. Iyo shamba kama iko idol haikusaidi. Si mmesema hii shamba ilikuwa tu hapa. Haikuwa inatumika. Uyu governor hakuja na hii shamba hapa. Hameikuta tu hapa. It takes focused leadership. It takes conscious leadership that cares for the people to drive that agenda forward. Pili, tuko na shida kiyoko ya begu. Begu ya maleno ya palm oil, ya sunflower, ya cotton. Na sasa, hata tulipokuwa mkutano kule Council of Governors, muka niambia niende nitafute begu ni walete. Sa kuambia governor, yyo kazi ni mekata. Sita toa mbegu na lobby ni lete hapa homa bi. Tutakuja hapa tuwa support mutoe mbegu yenu mutusaidi la zikina huko na homa. Na governor tayari umeniambia utanipatia shamba. Hata governor ulengo juzi alipatia seven takers huko ugenja. Pia na yo utipatia shamba huko na shamba kubo hapa. Ni lete watu wa kefis. Ni lete watu wa kalo wale wa alisati. Ni lete watu wa Kenya seed. Iyo kazi tutafanyia hapa hapa. Nyinyi mbukuwe sisi tiyo mutasaidia na mbegu. Manaka kazi yangu, siyo kuwapatia samaki. Ni kuwasaidia mweze kujitolea samaki. Yenu wenyewe, diyo mweze kujisimamia leo na kesho na mtodogo. Pia nilipokuja hapa, na vile naona vile mkotayari kupanya kazi. Tumiongea na shirika ingine, inaitua Simba, Simba Corporation, Simba Motors, ambao wanategeneza eh, fishing boats hapa, na tayari kuchaa kubariana, tutawapatia space hapa hata kabla kumaliza umjengo waanze kutengeneza boat hapa na shirika yangu inaitwa Kenya Development Corporation ambayo ni shirika ya kupeana mikopo mkiwa tayari tuko na pesa tuko na shida mingi but money is not one of them so please ni nyinyi mjipange tukuje tuwapatie mikopo muweze kuvijana hapa wakue trained waanze kutengeneza hizo boats wenyewe Na unajua rais pia kikuja hapa siku ya jumamosi, tutaifu, atazindua ile paya ambayo itasaidia upande wa eh, maritime na upande wa blue economy hapa katika hii county ya Homa B. Sasa hii shamba vile mmeona, tuko na ile tunaanza hapa ni 10 acres. But the whole land ni kama 535 acres. Governor umeniambia ya kwamba usha apply kupatiwa ile special economic zone ndio watu kama hawa universities kama sharif wakue na, na hiyo eh, motivation ya kuja hapa na najua umegojea muda mrefu sana lakini nataka kuhakikishia at a time like this next week you'll have your license yeah you'll have your license for the special economic zone so that you can be able to eh, work with the investors and as you know next year april we are going to have a major investment conference to bring in buyers who are going to buy our fish, our cotton, our edible oil, our pineapples from here, and most important, to bring in investors from all over the world. Because for them, they don't care whether it is Mombasa or Nairobi or Zika. All they care is that they can be able to invest, sell to their countries, and get a good return. Jamani yo yo mimi kazi ambayo naelewa. Na mimi nataka tufungue ukurasa mpya. Tufungue ukurasa mpya wa urafiki na wakufanya kazi pamoja. Sababu tunaweza kuwa na tofauti ya kisiasa na mambo ingine, lakini ya umaskini na kufukuza umaskini must bring our people together. You know we have come from a very troubled past. Na ni Titus, MCA Titus. You know MCA, uyu amesema likuwa driver wangu, haka nipeleka kisumu, I was the only person who could go to Kisumu those days. But I was nikuwa kidogo na wasiwasi asiseme sana. Titus, what happened in Kisumu remains in Kisumu, okay? Najua nikuwa na zama ukienelea, nitaambia watu kuamba you are not only my driver but also my goon. Lakini ziku ambia. Nadizu, ni 
rafiki yangu sana. So Gladys, me I want to really really thank you again again. First of all because you are focused. Vita zetu tulipigana huko kitambo tukamaliza ni vizuri watu wapigane vita wamalize. Ndio sasa kwenda mbele waende mbele nini? Pamoja. Na Raisi atakuwa hapa. Odipo kwa I am a very good messenger. Nimesikia message yako. Nitamwambia ile barabara ya Ojijo Hotel liwe liwalo. Lazima afanye something na contractor aweze kurudi kwa barabara. Na pia niwaletee salamu za baba. Mmepokea salamu za baba. Eh hey, wapi salamu za baba pia? <laughs> mimi leo mimi ni John the Baptist. Raisi anakuja hapa Saturday. Kwa hivyo mtalipatia salamu za rais deposit na zingine mtampatia personal siku ya Saturday. Wapi deposit ya William? So, sasa mimi sina mengi ya kusema. Ni kuwauliza tu viongozi tukae pamoja na wananchi tukae pamoja na tusikubali kupoteza muda every time we spend bickering and we spend fighting that time will never be recovered mjue hivyo tu ati useme sasa wewe utaanza kazi yako hapa ni marumbano huko nje hawagoje umesikia huu mradi mimi nafanya kaunti zote 47 so hata kama hama biwafanyi sikisumu wanafanya sijuzi mlituona na walengo kule si tulikuwa na ochilo yako huko Nimebakisha tu kaunti ya Kisumu kidogo tumalize mimi mambo yenu hapa katika hii eneo tumalizania hapo. Na pia governor this one thing I must tell these people about you. Why me and you agree on so many things? Hii maneno mingi ya sijui feasibility study na nini na maseminia na workshop you have a very practical governor. Because the poverty that we have in this country cannot wait even for one day so that we can sort out our issues, so that we can do feasibility and all those things. It has taken me only five minutes to understand what are the value chains here, what are the priorities, what we are going to do together. Ama na mula gani jameni? Sina mula hiyo? Mutaka ni salimie watu huko? Ni wa salimie? Na ni wambie watu wa homa besasa? Wako kwa maendeleo? Na unajua mi najua? Wacha ni seme hivi. I know we have a problem with the cost of living. Najua gharama ya maisha iko juu, iko juu ama iko juu? Iko huko iko juu, si ndio? Na mimi katika hiyo gharama ya maisha nasema mambo ni mangapi? Either tukae chini tulie kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni. Gharama ya maisha iko juu. Ama tupige magoti tuombe. Ama kabla ya kuomba na kulia we do something about it and what we are doing today is doing something about it because kama wewe uko na pesa kwa mfuko hata gharama ya maisha ikienda juu hautalia sana because uko na pesa kwa mfuko our problem is not the cost of living our problem is that you have no money in the pocket because if you have money in the pocket hata hiyo cost of living unaweza kukakaa kidogo sawa sawa na jamani tukuwa wavumilivu kidogo. Wacha hii kazi tumalize tupate kazi viwanda vikuje hapa. Najua tunaongea juu ya bei ya mafuta. Na mimi hata hapa mkiona kisima mnipatie niko tayari kuchimba kisima hapa. But for the time being because I don't have mine. Kwa uvumilivu na unyenyekevu. Sababu sina yangu. Eh? Mtu vumilie tu tufanye huu mradi, tuweke pesa kwa mfuko na ndio sasa hata nyinyi mkuwe watu ambao wako wako juu. Governor, I am promising you, within two years, utakuja hapa bila wallet. Utakuja hapa bila pesa kwa bahadbag. Because hawa watu, hawa tahitaji pesa yako. Tukifanya hii muladi, watakuwa bele. 